Hello and welcome everyone. Very happy that we're all together again. I'm very interested in this tutorial as we will start designing with each other the CCTV system for this commercial building which we designed the data system before. So for this building we need to pull a CCTV system that does the required monitoring job for all of the available areas of the building. And here is the ground floor and it consists of the rooms that we have explored before. So there is no need to explore them another time, but quickly we find that we have here the electrical room, the meter room, the stairs, and those are some path rooms. And here this is the low current room, this is a small lobby, this is a large corridor or lobby, and those are some offices, and those are some opposite offices for the employees. And now the first step of the design is to select the suitable type of the cameras that will be installed on the different parts of the building. And if we started with those inner rooms like this control room, those offices and those lopes for example, we will find that the suitable type of cameras is the fixed dome camera as the fixed dome camera is used commonly for the indoor applications. And if we go to the left a little bit, we will find that this is the sample of the dome camera where this is the camera length as when we install it we will set its length in front of the area that we need to record. So this is the field of view of our camera here from this part to this part. But as it's not a plug now here it consists of some parts so we need to transform it to one plug. Hence we can select it, type the command plug, enter and we can set its name to P DOM camera and OK. Also we need to include it in a new layer that represents the cameras of the CCTV system. This is to make our design a more organized and accessible one. For example if we need to select the cameras we can select and access them easily by accessing the layer that all of the cameras are laying under it. Also if we select the wiring system for example we can select it easily as we have set the wiring system under a new layer and so on. So this is the advantage of setting each similar group of object in a separate layer for organizing the project and controlling each group easily. And for this purpose we can generate a new layer, here we type the command layer and enter and create a new layer. Then we set its name to PCCTV cameras. And OK. Also we set its color to PDCUN1 for example. And OK. And close this window. Then we can include this camera under the new layer, the CCTV cameras. Here we type the letter C and go down. That's it. This is the CCTV cameras. Here we have included it. After that we can insert the different cameras on the different areas of the indoor areas here that we have inside this building. So we can select it. C O and enter from this point then we can add it at the middle of the corridor here at this position and press escape then we can rotate it R O and enter from this point this is to set its lens in the front of the corridor that's it so this area will be the field of view of this camera here this camera will record this area also we can add another one at the end of this corridor, so we can select it, C, O and enter from this point. Here we can activate the ortho mode to make it align on the same line. And we add it at this position and press on escape. So for this second camera, this corridor or this part of the corridor will be its field of view and this first camera or for this first camera, this part or this corridor will be its field of view. Also we can add another one in the front of those stairs. This is to detect the persons or to detect any actions that happens on these stairs. So we can select this one, C, O and enter from this point. Here we deactivate the Arthur mode. We add it at this position. Then we press on escape and we can rotate it. R O and enter from this point. We activate the ortho mode at this position. Very good. So the field of view of this camera will be those stairs for any persons or any actions that happens on these stairs. Also we can copy this camera here. C O and enter 
from this point and we go there and we deactivate the ortho mode and here we can set it at this position and we press an escape so this camera will cover this area or this lopi and by the same way we need another camera in front of this elevator here we need another camera in front of this elevator to monitor any persons who are going out of the elevator or who are going in the elevator so we can copy this one c o and enter from this point and we add it at this position then we press an escape and we rotate at r o and enter from this point and we activate the ortho mode set the camera lens at this direction here for the camera lens to be recording the elevator or to record this field of view and by the same way we need to add two cameras at the electrical room and at the meter room this is to monitor any actions that may happen in the electric room as those are two important rooms so we need to monitor them if any persons has entered any of them so we can select this camera C O and enter from this point we deactivate the ortho mode add it at this position and we press an escape and as we learned before we need the camera to be added at the corner of the room this is to detect the total field of view of the room also we can set its lens direction in front of the room so we rotate at R O and enter from this point to this position here and by the same way we add the second one at the meter room by the same way here we can copy it c o and enter from this point here at this position and we press an escape so as the camera field of view is about 70 or 90 degrees so we can set the camera at the corner to detect the whole of the room here if we draw a pulley line from this point to this point and escape another one p l and enter from this point here to this point we will find that this is the field of view of our camera so we can cover all of the room hence we set it at the room corner now we can delete those ones delete them also if we analyze our building we will find that we need to add a camera in front of those two elevators this is to monitor any persons who are entering the elevators or who are going out of it so we can go up select this camera c o and enter from this point add it down here at this position press and escape and by the same way we need to add a camera for those stairs to detect any persons who are going up or going down these stairs so we can copy this camera for example c o and enter from this point add it at this position select it rotate r o and enter from this point we activate the ortho mode add it at this position after that if we go up a little bit we will find that we need a camera for the low current room as the low current room is a very important room so we need to detect any actions or the very details that happens in the low current room and by the same way for the control room so we can select this camera c o and enter from this point deactivate the ortho mode add it at the low current room at this position also at the control room at this position and we press an escape now the next group of spaces we need to add the cameras at which are the offices here so we need to add a camera on each office of those offices and also a camera on each office of those offices hence we can select this camera c o and enter and we can select this corner as a paste point add it at this position and a second one at this position a third one and a fourth one for this office and if we go down we will find that we have those offices also so we add a camera at this office press an escape but we need to adjust its lens direction so we can select it r o and enter from this point we can change its rotation angle here its direction to be this direction and we can select it another time c o and enter from this point add it at this position and another one at this position then we go there another camera and here another one 
Now the final camera we need to add for the indoor cameras is a camera for this kitchen here. So we can select this camera for example, see O and enter from this corner and we edit at this corner here, press on escape. Very good. So that's for the indoor cameras and installation. Now for the outdoor cameras that are used to monitor the area surrounding the building at the front of the building here. At this case we will use the pullet camera and the PTZ cameras. This is because each of them is used for the outdoor applications as we learned it before. So we have provided those two samples here for the pullet camera and for the PTZ camera. And now let's add each of them as one plug as each of them here contains some separate lines, this one and this one. So we can select this bullet camera, type the command P and enter, set its name to P, bullet, camera, and we press on OK. This one also, here we select it, P and enter to add it as one plug, and we set its name to P, PTZ, camera, and we press on OK. Also, we need to add both of those two cameras under the CCTV cameras layer. Here we select them and type the letter C. That's it. We select it. So both of them has been included under the CCTV cameras layer. Now we can pack this bullet camera here. C, O and enter from this middle point. We can add it in front of the building. At this position, for example, here at this position, this is for this camera to cover all of this area here. So for this camera, we will use it to cover all of this zone in front of the building. As we said, the PTZ camera field of view is very flexible, so it can rotate in all of the directions and the x-axis to have a flexible field of view as we learned it before. But as we learned it before also, the PTZ camera needs two fixed cameras on its two sides on the right and the left to detect the right and the left zones when the PTZ camera is moving as it's not a fixed camera so it rotates in all of the directions. And for this purpose we can pick this bullet camera, see O and enter from this point and we can edit at this position, here at this position of the building and also a second one at this position. Then we press on escape and we can mirror it. This is to inverse its direction as we need it to cover this area here. So we type the command MI to mirror it and enter from this point and we activate the ortho mode. To this point we need to erase the source object, yes. Very good. So for this camera it will cover this right area when the PTZ is covering the left area and for this left camera it will cover this left area when the PTZ is covering this right area. Also we will repeat this design exactly for this front area of the building. So we can select this PTZ camera, see O and enter from this point and we deactivate the ortho mode and we edit at this position then we press on escape, then we add this camera here, see O and enter from this point, and we add it to this position, then we press on escape, and finally we add a second camera at this position, but let's move this camera to the left a little bit, here M and enter from this point to this point, and we can add another one, like this one, see O and enter from this point, and we edit at this position, then we press on escape, and finally we repeat this design exactly for this right part here. So we can select the PTZ camera, C O and enter from this point here, we edit at this position, then we select this camera, C O and enter from this point, we edit at this position, and we press on escape. And finally we select this camera, C, O and enter from this point, we add it at this position here, but let's drag it up a little bit, here, M and enter from this point to this point, or M and enter from this point to this point here, alright. Very good. So by that way we have covered all the required areas inside and outside the building. 
by adding the pullet and the PTZ cameras outside the polling and adding the dome cameras inside the polling. More than great. So that's about this tutorial at which we started on designing the CCTV system for this commercial building. Hope that's clear right now. Thank you for watching and see you next tutorials.